Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. Ten minutes at a time. <laughs> I'm sure you're glad you guys like all these videos. Cause I'm gonna keep pumping them out. Oh, okay, where was I? I had to do a lot of running around today. Whoops. I told you to look out. But <laughs> I, uh, I had a lot of running around to do. I got everyone's t-shirt out. All you winners from the game show, I got your t-shirt sent out, okay? And uh, my buddy called me from Australia, Jason. What's up, Jason? Hi, Jason's girlfriend. Uh, but she got a t-shirt, too. <laughs> uh, he got his t-shirt. And so all you other people's should be getting your t-shirt so I'm expecting a bunch of pictures for our website but uh them, your t-shirt should be trickling in now if there's anybody I missed please send me an email with your address and shirt size on it I think there was one guy in Canada I did not have your shirt size uh, the house is, I, I, I got the package in the house I'll, I'll get it on my next video but anyone else should be getting their t-shirts. Now I need to put my part in plane. I just uh, held this piece of wood underneath my wing tip and drew around it. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap. I think it was easier to mess with that clay. Now I just need to put this to where it'll hold that up. Whoops. Then we're gonna have some uh, Q and A's. Need that right there. So, uh, had a bunch of people ask me some questions today, and I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna answer for you guys. We want that right there, so we're gonna put this right there. Okay. Someone wants to know: Is all I fly is jets, or do I have other airplanes? And. Uh, that question is, or well, the answer is, no, all I have is jets. You know, I've been through everything. I've been through the 3D stage. I've been through the stunt plane stage. I flew uh, Warbirds for years, lots of P-51s, uh, stuff like that. But I bought my first jet. I got my first jet. And I'm sorry, I just kind of lost interest in everything else. You know, I love a good old P-51 and a P-47. You know, I love them airplanes, but uh, since I started flying jets, that's where my heart is. And he also wanted to know uh, what my top, top five conversations are. So I'm going to put number one as airplanes. Number two is jets. <laughs> Number three is a B-1 bomber. Number four is anything that's on the military channel. I love the military channel. And number five I'm going to put is football. Oh yeah, I'm a football fan. And uh, I don't know, we might throw women in there every now and then, you know. We all like talking about them. <laughs> Okay, I had two or three people ask me about these wing tips. Well, I had to make them in... I had I waxed this up earlier. I already put some wax on this. But I had some people asking why I had to make this in two pieces. Because, number one, it would be too hard to get on and off. Uh, you know, and uh, number two, I wouldn't be able to lay them up. Very good, especially, you know, way down deep in this hole. And uh, they just be sloppy, and uh, it ain't that big a deal to lay them up in two pieces, put them together, and make my mold. That way, I can make my flanges. Remember my flanges from them earlier videos? Who remembers them flanges? Better study up on it. It might be on the next game show. But I'll make me some nice little flanges there. And this way, we can just glue, you know, the swing tip together good and get it on there and we'll be able to see inside here see when without that piece being there without the leading edge being on we'll be able to see way inside that airplane 
when we're gluing the spar on it and stuff and uh, getting everything hooked then our piece will be in our mold we'll have our hinges sticking out we can just glue them hinges up and stick that piece in there and when we break it all apart everything will be hinged our lines will be perfect and it's just going to work out awesome you know you're just going to have to pay attention I got the best minds in the business on this <laughs> Oh, I bet you know, earlier I had old Paul on it, and i tell you what, uh, that comment to me I made about uh, Paul being a sharp pencil, that, gives, that, that really don't give him enough credit, to tell you the truth. But they are, uh, today in Texas, they always was at Butch's house and trying to figure out the best linkage system, what's going to work the best, and... Uh, they're on it all day, and I tell you what, whatever them guys come up with is good as gold in my book. They're, they're the smartest men in the hobby right there. You know, not, I mean, uh, I would argue with anyone that said anything different. And, uh, so I ain't worried a bit. You know, I know we can get it, I'm not worried about it. But we got the smartest people in the industry uh, on it. But that's why we're making this wingtip two pieces. Not that it just has to be, but it's just a whole lot better. I mean, yeah, I'd consider it had to be. That, that would be just terrible to lay up inside there, you know, being so deep. You just couldn't get it very, you couldn't get it waxed, you couldn't get it mold released, uh, you couldn't get down here in this corner at all. It'd be hard to pull off, man. But that's why we're doing that. And the big question, nav lights. Of course it's going to have lights. I've got some ordered for the main, or the nose gear, great big things. They're bright, oh they're going to be perfect, the perfect scale. And they're going to look nice. I got them ordered through the hobby shop. They'll be coming in about any time. And now the shop is I'm going to have to get them guys to haul and see what's up. I'm going to talk with my buddy Jason on the phone today in Australia. I sure do like that guy. He calls me every now and then, we just talk. You know, he thinks I talk funny, I think he talks funny. <laughs> I get a kick out of it, you know. Not personal, Jason. Don't take that wrong, but you do talk funny. <laughs> but anybody from around the world, I don't care who you are, you want to talk? Give me a call. I don't care. I got free long distance on my phone. Call. Well, Jason, he the first time he called, he just called to see if I was real. And we just kind of became buddies and we talk and they all, all of him and his buddies get together and watch me on the big screen and just love these videos and he's building his own plane and I'm going to get some pictures of it posted up on our website and that's all I got for you today people so if anyone wants a t-shirt I still got plenty left Give me a holler, I'll get you one right out. Just you people that just got your t-shirts. Don't forget, you gotta send me a picture. And you send them to photos at, you know the at, b1modelproject.com. If you go to the contributors page, scroll down to the bottom of the writing, you can see a link. Just attach it to an email and send it, then pitch them emails go to John. He takes care of the website. He'll be more than happy to post them up. I don't care what kind of pictures you send. 